Hey guys, welcome to Tech Heroes. In the first episode of our new series, One Man's Trash, we're going to take free and found PCs and see what we can do with them. A company donated this PC to us. Uh, they said something was wrong with it, so we're going to hook it up and see if we can fix it. going to start with taking the PC apart with this specific case you got to take the front panel off and then slide the side panels forward so to do that you just pop the bottom off first and then the top part will pop off and then now you can see with these tabs we can pull forward and the side panel will come off now this has got a side fan so we're going to disconnect it, one of these Molex connectors, inside of the side, pull this side off, oh, it's got a screw. Alright, so that is pretty nasty. We want to start with just blowing it out. We have our air compressor here. Alright, so one thing to note when you're cleaning out your computer, if you notice, I can spin the fan while blowing air on it. That's actually kind of a bad thing to do because these have little motors in here. And when you spin the fans by themselves, they actually send current back through the connectors into the motherboard. When you're blowing out fans, you want to hold them. Obviously you can't do much about the power supply, but um, your CPU fan and your case fans, you just want to hold the fans and keep them still. Just to show you guys that spinning the fan manually does produce voltage. We hooked up this voltmeter. I'm gonna spin the fan with the air compressor right now. You can see it produced up to 11 volts peak. All right, so we obviously have an Intel CPU. There's also the sticker on the front. I can't show you, I put it over there, but it's a uh, Core 2 Duo. And we don't know what video card this is, but it says it's a NVIDIA. So it's an NVIDIA brand GPU. It's got a little tiny fan on it. Um, looks like there's DDR2 RAM. And it looks like we got one gig each of DDR2. So now that we've cleaned this out, let's go ahead and um, let's plug it in and see what it does. Okay, we got power. Let's see if I can turn it on here. Power's on. We have a video signal. We have something on the screen. All right, so here's the deal. Right off the bat, we just figured out the computer boots. It posts, or actually it doesn't boot, it posts. It turns on, it stays on. There's no smoke or anything crazy, but it for what you see on the screen right now, it says Windows could not start because the following file is missing or corrupt. Windows System 2 Config System. That's easy. That means right there that there is a software issue, which is the reason why this computer will not actually boot into Windows. So we should be able to flop a Windows disk in here, format the drives, and get it to boot into Windows. All right, so we put the our System Builders DVD in here. Notice and it's set. We've checked. It's set in the BIOS here. I'll actually go on the BIOS. Show you guys. Set in the BIOS to boot up from the CD-ROM drive. But here's the kicker. We have a System Builders DVD Windows 7 disk, and most like I believe Windows 7, 8, 10, they're all going to come with on DVDs. Because this is a CD drive, we're gonna have to install a DVD drive just to be able to load Windows. So you can see in here it says light on CD RW. So it's not a DVD drive. 
All right, so we found a uh, an old Sony DVD drive that's also IDE. Little dusty. We are going to swap out the CD drive. One thing you want to check is this little connector right here, this little, uh, little pin, the six pins here. It is currently set on master. We want to make sure this drive is set on the same thing. And this drive looks like it is set on the same thing, master. Plug in the IDE cable. And the power. Okay, so there you have it. With a donated PC and nothing more than a fresh install of Windows, we were able to get this computer working. Yeah, this computer will be good for basic productivity like word processing, some schoolwork, browsing the internet, watching YouTube. It also would be pretty good for lower end DirectX 9 gaming. Stay tuned for next time where we benchmark this PC as it sits and upgrade it with parts from another computer that has a fried motherboard and then benchmark it again and see what we can do with it. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to leave us some feedback, leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. If you like what you saw here, you can support us using Patreon. We'll leave the link in the description. Bye.